Okay, let's spend a few minutes just talking about what a total knee replacement is. And um, I'm just gonna take you through a brief model. So this will be a very short discussion. So you get a physical idea of what we're doing inside. Okay, this is a model of the knee. We have three bones, we have the femur, we have the tibia, and then we also have the patella. And these three bones make up the knee joint. The first thing that we'll notice is that there's an extensor tendon. This is the quadriceps tendon, the patella tendon covering the front of the knee. So people often ask how we get to the knee. So after we make an incision through the skin, what we do is we move the patella over to the side. And so just by moving the patella over to the side, we gain exposure to the knee. Okay. Now, how do we do the knee replacement? Okay, so for this discussion, I'm just going to release this tendon so you can see. And so we have a femur. This is the natural shape of the femur. We know that because we've done the CT modeling prior to surgery. What we will do so that this femur fits is that we will make cuts to the surface of the bone. Each of these cuts is a few millimeters thick. We will make cuts to the end of the femur that reproduce the inner shape of the implant. And then we can insert that. So when we talk about a knee replacement, we're not taking out all the bone in the knee and putting in a new knee. What we're doing is we're shaving off a few millimeters of the arthritic cartilage at the surface in a shape that will match the same shape of the implant. Okay, so that's how we get to the femur. Tibia is even more straightforward. How we get to the tibia is we bring the tibia forward like that. Now, the tibia is a different shape. It's not this complex curve shape with different radii of curvature. This is pretty much a flat surface. And so for here, we'll take a few millimeters just at the very surface, on top of which that we can place the resurfacing implant on top. This tibial component will hold this material, the polyethylene in place. And this polyethylene will be the new cushion. It will be the bearing surface that allows the bones to transfer load between each other. Once these are secured, we put the knee back together again. And then that's the knee replacement. So again, we're not replacing the knee. We're just restoring the mechanics, specifically the arthritic cartilage at the surface of the bones. And again, in order to get to the knee, we push everything to the side. I'm gonna hook this up. And at the end, we put it back in front and close up the incision. Okay, so that's a knee replacement. Thank you.